In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to introduce you to editing your audio files using the WAVE editor in PowerDirector version 15. I have a screen capture I took that uh, shows how to use the snipping tool in Windows 10. I'll drag that into track one. Now let's assume that I am playing this listening to my commentary and I want to change the audio. First, let's listen to it as it was recorded. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called the Snipping Tool. I'd like to introduce you to it. Okay, uh, it's a little more bass than I like to use, so what I'm going to do is modify that. All I need to do is click on the uh, clip, and then I can click on Edit Audio, and that gives me two options, Audio Director and Wave Director. I can buy Audio Director separately, which is a more full-featured program, but I don't own it. But Wave Editor is built into the basic versions of PowerDirector 15. So I'll click on the Wave Editor. It will open it up in its own program and its own window. And here I have the uh, audio of that clip. I can click on the Play. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called the Snipping Tool. Okay, and there I have the basic audio. I'm going to focus only on one feature of this, which is the equalizer. Um, some of you who are audiophiles know how to use this and other tools, but let me show you just some basics. I'll click on the equalizer, and it gives me the default where none of these sliders has changed. I can click on the little preview box and I can hear what it sounds like unadjusted. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called the Snipping Tool. Okay, and nothing really exciting about that. There are a bunch of presets that you can use uh, in order to change this. So let's try a couple. Let's try the Hard Rock preset. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called the Snipping Okay, that's one. Let's try uh, Techno. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called the... Now, that didn't change it a lot. Uh, let's try Blues. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called... Uh, again, we'll try a couple of others that, that might give me something. Uh, let's try Sparkly. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called the Snipping Tool. Not too bad. Uh, that takes some of the bass out of it. Uh, and then you have just a bunch you can try. Let's see what Dance does to it. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called... You can experiment all day long. You can create your own custom one at the bottom and vary it any way you like. Um, I have, uh, I have designed one that I like that, that goes this way, and it's the one you'll hear most often in these broadcasts. Windows 10 has a very nice tool. Okay, so you can experiment. You can uh, take the standard one, start out with that at the very top, the default, and you can uh, play with the sliders uh, any way you like. Let's just try this for fun. Put these guys way down here and see what it sounds like. Windows 10 has a very nice tool called the... Forget that one. <laughs> but it just gives you an example. Now when you're done, and I will go back to uh, cancel this. Um, when you're done with your editing, I'll go back to my equalizer so I have... Uh, you can go back into the... Um, uh, let's just change one thing just slightly here so I have something to change. Then I can click on OK. It applied the effect. And then I click on the upper right corner on the X to close my Wave Editor. So when the Wave Editor closes, it says, do you want to change, save the changes to the audio track? It will actually put it into your project. And I can click Yes or I can click No. And uh, just for fun, I'll click, uh, I'll click yes in this case. If you made some changes you don't like, click on no, and it won't change that. I'll click on yes. And 
unfortunately it popped it to full screen but now I have the edited audio track along with uh, the original video track now if again you don't like this you can you can take and you can move your track if it has audio and video back down in your timeline and start the whole process over again but this gives an example of a slightly modified the easy way to get to a, the snipping tool is to and I didn't change it much there but this gives an example of what you can do to change the audio using the wave editor and the equalizer in CyberLink PowerDirector.